My name's Scarlett and I'm a photographer. I grew up around music and the visual image was very important, so it made perfect sense in later life to be drawn back to that familiarity of music. To be quite honest with you, we're the best band in the fucking world. I love not really knowing what I'm going to capture and then just working with what I've got and make something good out of it. I was commissioned to go to Germany to photograph Keith Richards and on arrival there was no location planned at all. So I spotted these black curtains on the stage and thought this is perfect for making a little studio vibe. Um, so I put in my portable flash heads, one at the back behind where he'd be sitting and one at the front. And then he came in smoking in a cool army jacket and sat down and we just started having a little chat and I captured the moment and the smoke and, you know, these amazing hands. So Q Magazine commissioned me to shoot the Foos in Dublin and they'd hired the penthouse at the Clarence, which is Bono's hotel. And inspired by the one man hot tub, they decided it would be a great idea if the Foos were to get in it. Being the Foos, uh, they embraced it, stripped off and jumped in the tub, all four of them. A lot of the musicians that I've worked with have an image that they present already, but what I actually love doing is going beyond that and drawing out an essence of something that is more real. L-O-L-L-A-P-A-L-O-O-Z-A. So my first days of being a fledgling photographer, I went to Lollapalooza Festival in America and I was shooting everything I could and somebody I knew knew the verb and said look you've got to meet these guys they're from England you'll love them so off we went to their tour bus and um, he introduced me and it was clear that something wasn't all hunky-dory in their camp because um, well for one it was raining they didn't know if they were playing that day they were clearly quite stoned or and a bit cross with each other. It was all a happy experiment. I didn't know what the result was going to end up being, but I had my fisheye lens on, I was bounce flashing, cross-processing my film. I couldn't see what I was getting because it was film and not digital. But actually, the results came out incredibly. So Kelly Jones had an idea inspired by an Annie Leibovitz photograph um, from the 60s of prisoners kissing their loved ones. And really it was to sort of recreate in a modern day feel this shot to see if it would work for the cover of Performance and Cocktails. So as it was a bit of a test and we didn't know if it was going to be the shot, we hired a football pitch for an hour and with that in mind, you know, I had to know exactly where everyone was going to be. So I planned it down to the point where I'd sort of drawn on a piece of tracing paper where everyone needed to be positioned and had that in my medium format viewfinder so that I could see straight away where I had to place everybody. It did make the grade and it became the cover of the album. 